Jonah the movie will probably be the best movie to come out this year. We have so far seen serious women handle the appearance business and other serious women handle men by sending other serious men to handle men. But we've never seen a serious woman handle men this way. What do you want? What the f shit? What? Oh, 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 oh. What? First off, we have to pay respect to the director Kelvin Wanko for paving the way and not doing the traditional Nollywood action movie in Nigeria. Don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of action-based comedy movies that are actually good, like Banana Island Ghost, a movie that carries the Nigerian culture when it comes to having a spiritual relationship and, and flings it, flings that life lesson off a mountain. Then you have Sylvia on the other hand reminding you why you should um, not have a spiritual wife. I am like the castle. Me no want you no more. I have to say Nigeria has done it again when it comes to the quality and color correction. When it comes to also beautifying a village setting, we also roll. We are so culturally aware that it's only Nigerians that can make you think like them. Lagos, I know we have good food, light, um, job opportunities, but ah, I've never in my life backed a good on a bicycle before. Watching this trailer might be confusing because it looks like two different movies, but trust me, it's the same. It's a story of a young girl that stays with her grandmom in the village because her actual mom is dead. Standard Nollywood backstory, keep up guys. She gets scouted by Mr. Patrick to go live a better life in the city. Also another standard Nollywood backstory, keep keep up again. Turns out that Mr. Patrick is a creep that deals with human trafficking. Then do I have to say that this is a standard Nollywood backstory? Muna lives a life of hardship at a tender age and this gives her a tough skin and when you add hatred of men into the mix, it, it's a whole new ball game. Because of what she actually went through from her childhood dude it gave her the superpower of nikita and lara croft now muna is out for vengeance with all the men and one lady that, that did her wrong is it not funny how fast she ended the fight with the men like boom done boom you are dead and when it came to the woman's scene it it was long like babe we had the ability to throw this man. What was wrong? What's wrong, Hulk? A few people tend not to know the ability a movie poster can give to the audience. Take one look at Osofia in London, a movie made as far back as 2003. The poster gave a lot of information. I really like the poster of Muna. It is detailed and it shows the effort that went into making this movie. When you make a movie in America, it's in your best interest to give a good designer to make the best of the movie poster. And when you shoot in Nigeria, it's also in your best interest to, to try not to be cheap and give a three-year-old to make a poster. What, what, what is this? Please someone explain what is the obsession with cropping out the body and adding it to the ground. What? What? Um, oh, this one is different. Oh, the girl is lying on the ground. Oh, they did not crop this one. Oh, oh, okay. They cropped her body. She's about to pour water on them. Oh, wow. That, that car must be the new monster truck. Why is it bigger than the man? And yes, that had nothing to do with the movie. Just using this avenue to express my opinion and frustration with movies, using screen grabs to promote their movies and not taking out time to do a proper photo shoot with the cast. Yes. I can get serious here. I have great expectations for this movie to have a creative story and without a doubt from the cast list, I know it will have the best of acting. I've judged this from the trailer we have seen, that Muna is fighting for vengeance, love, hope, and most importantly, the opportunity to back that goat.